<laughs> May I say how very, very pleased I am to have the opportunity to explain to you, ladies and gentlemen, the finer points of ventriloquism. Oh, blimey. Seven and a half hours with the knee, and I haven't even done any bloody thing yet. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Do you mind? What's the matter now? I'm trying to talk to the ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Silly old cow. Anybody can do ventriloquism. Anybody who wants to talk to themselves, that is. I've been talking to myself for about 25 years now. So I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. Stop dead. My father said it was impossible to do this, that you had to be gifted to do it. I would like to explain to you the technicalities of ventriloquism. Now I make a very good living out of it. My father works in a factory. I shouldn't take a lot of notice of her because she doesn't really know sweet Philip Archer about ventriloquism, you see. She's never the ventriloquist as long as she's got a hole in her head. You know that. As it happens, I know a lot about ventriloquism. Really? Yes. Explain it then. Ventriloquism? Yeah. Ventriloquism is a matter of controlling the respiratory osculations of the abdominal muscular reflexes together with the measured reverberations emanating from the solar plexus. Bloody hell. Have you seen the doctor about that? I said... Oh, I know what you said. You do? Yeah. Tell the audience then. My doll is a dirty little cockney man, and I'm a high-class, well-spoken lady. Now, I do not rehearse lines with a doll. If he doesn't say them naturally, it doesn't sound funny. Ventriloquist, ventriloquist, sorry. <coughs> ventriloquist. I can't really take out juggling or something like that. Ventriloquism is an effort of controlling the respiratory osculations of the abdominal muscular reflexes together with the measured reverberations emanating from the solar plexus and in promulgating your esoteric cogitations or articulating your superficial sentimentalities, I'd say that you were talking without moving your cake hole. Very good. Thank you. I suppose it took me something like 19 years to um, actually get into the profession and get decent money. You know, it's possible to throw the voice. Can you throw your voice? Well, that's what a ventriloquist does. Yeah? yeah. I'll give you a demonstration, all right? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm making a phone call. You what? I'm making a phone call. OK, carry on. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Not too bad. What did you do that? You never even put any money in. It's fantastic, that, wasn't it? Marnie, can I have a go at that? Yes. Hello? Hello? Oh, bloody hell, it's all these people here. No one will talk to me. Hello? Hello? Who's working you, then? That's not... <laughs> He bloody started it. He didn't shout out like that when I'm doing me act. You wanted him to call out? I didn't ask him to call out. You did. You intimated as much. I wasn't into that with him at all. The smell of the grease paint or the smell of the money. Well, I, th I think really, you, you know, if they took the money away from me, I would have to do another job. But I, I don't think I'd give it up. I'd uh, like to show you a few of the, or all of the movements that are used on a ventriloquist doll. First of all, you'll observe that he has a bottom lip movement and a top lip movement. Also, he has, of course, can move his eyes and his eyebrows. He can also wink with that eye or that eye or close both eyes. You're working very well. Get on with it. And, uh, of course, the thing is, if you want him to sneer, you sneer. I don't want to sneer. Sneer. Yes. If he can sneer, or if he wants to um, yell in, ah, like this. Is that good enough? It's pretty good. And then get your finger out of my eye. I just want to get off, will you? Do you think I'm a freak or something? Just trying to help. Now, if, if I can just, don't take me head off, you silly <laughs> cow. Where are you playing at? I've got to, you haven't got to show them anything. I've got to show them the inside workings. You're not going to do that. That's sick, that is. You must be as sick lot of blight as you. Sadistic show, are you? I'll kill me just for a bloody film. I'm not going to have that. Come on. No. Come on. No. 
Why not? No, I'm not. When I was a kid, nobody would speak to me. I was very, very tiny and pushed out. And I think uh, I always wanted to prove that I was a, as good, if not better, than everybody else by doing the ventriloquism. Got an itch, too. You've got an itch? Yeah. Where? On my back of my neck. You want me to scratch it? Yeah, go on, scratch it. Make you sick, doesn't it? Trying to work like right this. Just for a film. A bit lower. I tell you what, take the head off. But you take the head off. You just said, take the head You can't reach a damn thing like that, can you? Take the head off. Ha, oh, oh. ha. No, no. Excuse me. Right, it's down there on the left somewhere, I think. Now you can see the movement. Shut up, you silly fucking you. There's the movement. There's six of them, like that, you see? It's a sadistic lot of bastards you are, I think. Down there on the left. I think I've got it. I think they've had it on the quiet. It's a bit of fluff. Never lose your head over a bit of fluff, they say. Put me head back. And I think that demonstrates exactly what it's all about. Thank you very much. Cut! I, I used to starve to be in the business, really. Now I'm in debt. <laughs> there we are, that's your business. Did you hear about this long-haired student who spent five years trying to find himself and then he had his hair cut and there he was. <laughs> he went into Battersea's fun fair one day and he had a fit having a three count. And three kids jumped on him thinking he was a new ride. <laughs> it's funny that. That's it. Cut. <coughs> Cut. You must be bloody deaf, that fella. <laughs> Can't understand what he's doing, do you? Go on. That's it. I've finished. What are you stopping? I don't have any carries on all the time. What's the camera? Oh, Watch a bloody camera. I want to get home and have me dinner, don't I? Ridiculous. Seven days shooting a gag. That's ridiculous, that is. Seven days. Cut it, will you? Go on. He's taken retribution on me just because I told him he got long hair. Camera. He's got a beard as well, that one, isn't he? Oh, go on. Have a bit. Cut him, will you? <laughs> 